So we will begin on our mats in child's pose. So wherever you are, find your way onto your mat and let's begin in child's pose. Excellent. So, whoop, hold on one second. She's trying to figure out, having a little bit of technical difficulty here. Hello. Okay, hold on one second because it seems that um, my little speaker thing is not picking up. Give me one moment so I can figure this out. Okay, hold on one second, guys. I'm going to just turn the audio off just so that I can get this figured out. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to be using uh, just computer audio for today. All right, figure it out. This is a troubleshooting morning, but that's okay. Let's begin our practice, if we will. Okay, so let's start out. We're going to start out in child's pose. And as you start in child's pose, just begin to release your head on down. Close your eyes and release all the way down to the mat here. Now let that breath be long and slow. Begin to notice your inhalations and your exhalations. Just let your breath be natural here. Child's pose is a great pose for us to check into our body. Good, and as you feel ready, extend those arms forward of the chest. Release the head down to the mat. So now you're in extended child's pose. Walk your hands over to the left side of the room. Release the head on down. And just breathe here into the right side of the body. Allow the breath to travel into the right hip, the right shoulder, the right arm. And then as you feel ready, walk back to center. Walk over to the other side. Release the head on down. And likewise, let the breath travel into the left side of the body here. Good. Find your way back to center. Press down those palms. Inhale. Peel up the chest. Find your way into tabletop pose. So as you take tabletop pose, just begin to allow your chest to lend them forward of the arms. And we're going to take a few rounds of cat and cow pose here. So on the in-breath, Lift the chest, heart, and sternum all the way up. On the out breath, just begin to round across the spine. As you inhale here, raising up through the chest, the heart, the sternum. As you exhale, rounding and tucking that tailbone on down. Inhale, lifting that chest on up. And as you exhale, let's find our way into downward facing dog pose. Press back those thighs. Release that down to the mat and breathe here. Downward facing dog pose. Nice. So downward facing dog pose, just really the head down to the mat. Soften the eyes and breathe here. Spread across your fingers. Feel the outer arms tugging in. And just begin to sway your hips from side to side a few times. Bending the left knee as you straighten the right leg. Bending the right knee as you straighten the left leg. And then from here, you'll walk your hands back to your feet. You'll come into a forward fold. Release that head on down. You can take your right thumb, bring it into your left elbow crease. Left thumb, bring it into the right elbow crease. 
Release the head on down. Breathe into the shoulders here. And breathe into the back body. Now take the hands to the low back. Inhale, pressing down through the fingers to lift up the chest. Find your way into standing. So spread across the fingers here, spread across the toes. And just breathe here as you lengthen across the chest. Inhale, float the arms all the way up towards the ceiling here. On an exhale, hinge and forward fold. Release those hands down to the mat. Inhale, let the include chest, heart, and sternum. As you exhale, hinge and fold here. Inhale, raising those arms all the way up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the fingers. And as you exhale, gliding those hands down to the sides. So being here for another moment, chest is lifted, heart is lifted, breath is long and slow. On the in-breath, raise those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, forward fold here. The inhale, lengthening halfway. Good. Take your hands down to the mat now. Walk the feet back. Find your way into downward facing dog pose again. So release that head on down. Breathe here as we take downward facing dog pose. Downward facing dog pose. Let's lower our knees down to the mat. And let's extend back through our right leg. So press your right ball of the foot down to the mat. Lengthen across the chest and breathe here. See that the sternum begins to lengthen all the way through the crown of the head. As you press down through those fingers, begin to round the spine here and look towards the belly button, rounding those shoulders. On the in-breath, peeling up the chest and heart and lengthening forward. On an exhale, release the right knee down and take the left leg on back. So now press down through the left ball of the foot. See that you wrap your outer arms in. See that you hug that belly in as you press through those fingers. Once again here, rounding through the spine as you press those fingers on down, looking towards your belly button. Great stretch for the neck and shoulders. And then on an in-breath, lengthening through the chest, the heart, the sternum. As you exhale, release that left knee on down. Pull the thighs up, downward facing dog pose, breathing here. Downward facing dog pose. Walk the feet forward towards the hands. Inhale. Lengthen the chest on up. Exhale, hinging and folding here. Inhale, raising the arms up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the fingers. On the exhale, bringing the arms back down and to your sides. Good. Take the hands to the center chest now. Interlace your fingers at the center chest. Press your arms forward. Raise your arms all the way up towards the ceiling here. Begin to glide your fingers over towards your left. Begin to glide your fingers over towards your right. Sorry, I went the other side. <laughs> All right. And then from here, as you feel ready, bringing your hands back down to your sides. Palms face the front of the room. Wonderful, my yogi friends. Take the hands to the hips. Bend the right knee. Bring the right heel in towards the left shin. Hands come to the center chest tree pose. So lengthen through the chest, the heart, and the sternum here if you like. Inhale, raise those arms up towards the ceiling. On an out breath, bend the elbows and bring the elbows in towards the center chest. Inhale, raising those arms up towards the ceiling here, lengthening through the back body. On an out breath, bringing those elbows in towards the backs of the shoulders. Inhale, floating those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, gliding those elbows in towards the center chest and breathing here. Good, take those hands, release them to the hips, release that right foot on down. Inhale, drawing the left knee will bend, spinning that left heel into the right ankle. Take the hands to the center chest here, prayer pose. Raise the arms all the way up towards the ceiling here. As you exhale, bending those elbows and drawing the elbows into the center chest. Inhale, floating those arms all the way up towards the ceiling here. And as you exhale, bending those elbows deeply and drawing the elbows in. One more time, inhaling up. One more time, drawing those elbows in towards the chest. And as you feel ready, release those hands down to the hips, release that left foot on down. So we're gonna take our feet this time, bring the feet wide apart. So without moving through our normal vinyasa to the ground, we're gonna take both of our feet and turn our feet over to the right side of the room. 
bend deeply into that right knee and just feel both feet planted down onto the earth. See that your feet are pressing down. See that your thighs are hugging in and breathe here into your right leg. Now straighten across that right leg and one more time, bend deeply into that right leg. This time adding your right arm here. Just lengthening your right arm out as you look up forward. Nice. Bring your right hand to the right hip, straighten across that leg and then bending into the right knee, extending your left arm on out. Now extending your right arm on out. So both arms are extended, pressing down through those fingers here. <coughs> My apologies, I got the sneezles today. <laughs> As you feel ready, hands come to the hips. Let's turn the feet on in, let's turn the feet out to the other side. Our, <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's bend. The left knee, good thing I'm not mic'd up here. I have the computer mic on, so at least it's not as loud. As you bend through that left knee, and then once again, straightening through that left leg. One more time, bending deeply through that left knee. I had to move this, uh, something around that gave me some dust. Um, so as you feel ready, taking the left arm, bringing it on forward, and bringing the left hand to the left arm, and bringing the right hand, bringing it on back and bringing the right hand to the right hip. And bringing both arms out to the sides, lengthening through the chest, heart and the sternum here. And as you exhale, hands come to the hips, straightening across that left leg, turning the feet in. Well, once again, let's turn the right foot on out, bend that right knee, and bring your right, uh, your right forearm onto your right thigh. Lengthen across the chest here, breathing in here. We're gonna glide the left arm up and over the head, just like this. And a few times I'd like you to circle that arm around. So you'll bring the hand down, you'll glide the arm up and over the head, and then you'll bring the arm down and up towards the ceiling. Once again, down and over the head, and down and towards the ceiling. One more time, down and over the head. So this time as you bend that knee, look up towards that left hand, breathe deep. And as you feel ready, gliding that left arm back up, lifting it up and bringing your hands back to the hips. Let's turn those feet on in. Turn the feet out to the other side. So bend into the left knee this time. Left forearm to left thigh. Inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling. Take the right fingers, glide them on forward and out. Beautiful, my friends. And then gliding your right fingers all the way up towards the ceiling here. Gliding your right fingers all the way up and out and gliding your right arm up towards the ceiling here one more time gliding that right forearm up and out breathe here as you bend deeply into that left knee drive the left hip back press through the right outer heel breathe in here inhale float that right arm up glide your right arm up arms out to the sides let's bring our hands to the hips let's turn those feet in and step the feet back together here all right so as we take Tadasana pose, this is once again, always an opportunity for us to check in with the body. We're just gonna move fluidly here. Inhale, raising the arms up towards the ceiling. On an out breath, holding and hinging forward here. On an in breath, lifting up halfway, pausing. Take the hands down to the mat, walk the feet back, find your way into plank pose. Lower those knees down. Lower the chest all the way down to the mat. As you inhale, raising up the chest, heart, and sternum. And as you exhale, pressing on back, downward facing dog pose. Downward facing dog pose, release that head down to the mat. Just shake out the head, no. And shake out the head, yes. And shake out the head, no. And shake out the head, yes. All right. Let's lower those knees down to the mat and take our right foot, step it on forward. Inhale, float the arms up towards the ceiling here, lengthen through the fingers. On an exhale, bend the elbows again, bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Now you're gonna turn the chest over so the chest turns towards that left, uh, right leg. Extend the left arm forward, extend the right arm back. Bring the right hand, place it down right on the left thigh. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling. This is called twisting um, or reverse uh, lunge pose. And then as you exhale, take those hands back down to the mat. Walk your right foot out, walk your right foot out. Take your right hand, place it on your right thigh. Spin the chest up towards the ceiling. Draw your right shoulder in. 
Inhale, float your right arm on up. Breathe here as you twist across the chest, the heart, the sternum. And on an out breath, bring that right hand on down. Step your right leg on back. Shift back into downward facing dog for a moment. This is just to reset the body, to reset the legs, and just to sway those hips a few times. Let's lower those knees on down. Let's take the left foot, step it on forward. Inhale, load those arms up towards the ceiling here. Bend the elbows, 90 degrees. Turn the chest over to face the left thigh this time. Right arm forward, left arm back, maybe release the left hand down the right leg as you lift that right arm up. And on an exhale, bring those hands back down to the mat. Walk the left leg out, left hand comes to the left thigh, spin the chest, left arm draws all the way up towards the ceiling here. Drive the left outer hip in, breathe here as you look up towards that left palm. And on an exhalation, release that left palm on down, step the left leg back, once again, Downward facing dog pose. Just sway those hips with the wind. <laughs> and then as you feel ready here, you're going to take the knees down to the mat. You're going to scoop the tailbone forward. You're going to find your way onto your back and hug those knees into the chest here. Nice yogis. Okay, let's take the hands behind the back of the head. We're just going to do a little bit of core work today. So tap the right foot on down. Keep lifting the shoulders up off the mat and then tap the left foot on down and draw it back. And tap the right foot on down and draw it back and tap the left foot on down. Draw it back. Right foot taps, keep lifting the chest and then the left foot taps. Good. And then from here, bring both knees together. You're going to draw the knees over the left and then you're going to bring them away from you and draw the knees over the right. So this is a little bit of control. You're going to draw the knees over the left and back to center and draw those knees over the right. And back, you're gonna draw those knees over the left. Beautiful guys, and you're gonna draw those knees over the right. Now, release the feet down onto the mat. Take hold of the outer edges of your mat. Roll your shoulders underneath you. Roll your shoulders underneath you. As you press down through the, through the balls of the feet, inhale, peel up that pelvis. Lengthen the tailbone all the way to the backs of the knees here. This is called bridge pose. And this is a great pose to take in the morning time. Press through the feet, wrap the outer arms in, breathe here as you take the chest towards the chin. Keep wrapping those outer thighs in as you breathe. And on the exhalation, lower that tail on down to the earth. Keep those shoulders rolled under. Inhale, peeling up the pelvis, the chest and the sternum. Take, this, take the sternum towards the chin. Take the shoulders towards the backs of the legs. Breathe here. Outer thighs towards the inner thighs. And on an out breath, lower on down. We'll do that one more time. Press down through the feet. Inhale, float the tail on up and breathe here. So we take this pose to prepare us for our day. If you want, you can bend your elbows. You can see that your fingers face the ceiling as you press down through the tops of your arms. These are called robot arms. And as you breathe here, we'll be here for another five, four, three, maybe smiling a little bit, two, maybe pressing down through the arms, one, maybe squeezing the glutes, and release. Draw the left knee into the chest. Take yourself into a thread the needle pose. Left foot over the right thigh. Grab the back of your right thigh here. And breathe into the back of that left leg. So guys, this is just a really mild, quick flow that we got going on. So hopefully you guys are enjoying as you roll the head over to one shoulder. And then you come back to center and you roll the head over to the other shoulder. Wonderful, my friends. And then as you feel ready, you're going to hug that right knee into the chest. Take the right foot, place it over the left thigh. And you're gonna grab hold of the back of the left leg this time and just start to roll the head from side to side. Rolling the head over from shoulder to shoulder. Excellent, my yogi friends. And then from here, as you feel ready, you're gonna lower that left foot on down, you're gonna lower that right foot on down. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to come cross legs 
take your feet into cross legs and just release your knees away from one another. This is a really awesome stretch. It's, just, it's very subtle too, but you're just letting the inner groins release here. It's very similar to Supta Vada Konasana, but instead we're crossing over the ankles. They're just pretty deep. Wonderful. And then as you feel ready, bring those knees to a bend again. You're going to do the same thing, but crossing the other leg in front this time. Breathing here. You can roll the head right and left if you want. A couple of times. Wonderful, my yogis. And then from here, extend those legs forward in front of you. Move the flesh of the buttocks away from you. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling and breathe here. So guys, as we take ourselves into our Shavasana pose, I know we just did a very quick class, but as we take ourselves into Shavasana pose, just see if you can relax here. Remember this, some yoga is usually better than no yoga. And some days our practice looks like this. It's just a quick class. Try to get in there, moving through this flow, and then try to allow ourselves to relax deeply. As you release, close those eyes, smooth the breath, and just notice where you can relax. Your eyes, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your breath. Let the body be relaxed here. Let the breath be smooth, long and slow. I'm just sitting up preparing for it. You guys stay on the ground for another moment. And just continue to breathe here. Oh, perfect, okay, got you, Gail. All right, so as you feel ready here, bringing the knees to a bent position, gently beginning to rock from side to side here. Rolling over onto your left side. As you feel ready, pressing your way on up and coming into seated. So, Gail, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful uh, day today. Sorry about that little bit of a delay this morning, but I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Anybody else who joined us, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. A little bit of a quick flow today, uh, so nice, some nice stretches, but a little bit shorter than our usual sequence. As you feel ready, take the hands to the center chest on an exhale, release the chin towards the chest. Namaste, my yogi friends. Have a wonderful, fantastic Wednesday. I will look forward to seeing you guys very soon again. Peace, love, and happiness, my friends. Namaste. Right. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Gail. Once again, my apologies for that. Uh, had to get a quick flow in today. Um, so uh, for whoever else joined us, have a wonderful rest of the day today. Tried to keep it in under around uh, 25 minutes. So nice little 25 minute flow. Uh, which is really awesome. Our next class will be Friday, July the 10th. Gail, I'll see you at three o'clock. Anybody else who's joining, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day today. As I usually share with everyone, all of the students, be well, be happy, my friends. Namaste. Have a great day, yogis. Bye, guys. We'll see each other soon.